Pass! This is it. Here, at Winden Stadium, the greatest stadium in all Galar. You're gonna show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire! So, go get yourself checked in. Hi hey everyone, it's Tess from My Contest Play, and welcome back to Pokemon Shield. Last time, we went to Rose Tower, because we had to go find the chairman to find out that Oleana was kind of suspicious. She was kind of sus, because we had to do all these battles just to get to the top to find Leon. And at the end, the chairman was going on and on about power in the future. Who knows? Challenger Tess, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through the semifinals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals, and they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through this final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So, are you ready to go to the locker room now? Yes, straight away. Then I'll show you the way. Wow, there's people in here this time. <laughs> Lots of people in here this time. Everyone's just so much cooler than me. Like, everyone. We've got all the gym leaders. Everyone looks so great. And I'm just like, oh, well, I guess I'm here. Will you be heading out into the pitch? The opening ceremony should be starting soon. I'm ready. And in you go. They do so many opening ceremonies. Like, jeez. Didn't we already have enough? Let me just... Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. I'll be fine. I probably should have, but it's okay. Oops. It probably goes without saying, but... Hello, Galar. I'm your champion. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope no one minds me stepping in in order to lead you all to greater heights as Pokemon trainers of the Galar region. Time has come for you to battle it out until only the greatest challenger remains. So on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say, let the final match begin. You can read that so quickly. <laughs> Except the last line, of course. Wait, you. You. Who's that? A moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? I am Bede, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge because you tried to destroy an ancient wall. Bede, here is the challenger endorsed by Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with challenger Tessier. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle her. If I, I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I am retiring from being a trainer. What an unexpected turn of events. Former challenger Bead has come for one last battle. We are currently debating what to do with the challenger Bead. To all of our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had to say something. Do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Oleana who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but the chairman himself disowned me. And then the strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into boot camp on fairy type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy type Pokemon every day. And here I am, pouring my heart out to you when I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted Bead's sudden interruption. It is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger. Or is it a trial for challenger tests? My will hasn't been broken yet. Neither is mine, Bead. Neither is mine. Aww. Gym leader Bead. Covered in pink and blue. <laughs> this is silly. We face too much to quit now. We've got no choice but to win. I feel a winning fight coming on with a fire punch. Right in the face. Only way to do it. 
One hit KO. Mwahaha. A Gardevoir. Mm. We just did this. I'm gonna switch my Pokemon. I'll bring out a yummy. Yami is now holding a rocky helmet. Gardevoir is so cool. She's so tall. I don't know why. I like taller Pokemon too. She's like lengthy and wow. So pretty. Bam. the way the news goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've grown so many levels. Rabadash! Um, I'm gonna keep an Ayami for Rabadash. Oh, wow. I definitely regret not using a Rabadash. So cute. Gonna give it a heavy slam. Takedown! No! Good. That takedown only worked if you already had damage. Bleh. Bleh. No. There it is. Good job, Yami. I don't know if that's just the Yami being good Pokemon or if just it doesn't work on a Yami. <laughs> I don't know. But it worked in my favor. Mwahaha. <laughs> Oh, Hatterene! I'm gonna switch out and I'm gonna bring out Toru because we haven't seen her in a while! I think this is Bee's last Pokemon. Pretty sure. Yeah. Tsk. What's with this calm expression? Think you can win? Hatterene! Oh my goodness! Hatterene! You've evolved! <laughs> Katarine's like, I know all the answers to all the questions, leave me alone. Mm, this one, I think. Mm, let's see Toru all pink! I'm so excited! Curiously got her little baby evolution on her head. I mean, soon she'll have two when she evolves. We'll show you a truly great pink. It's time for my something. I totally missed that. Such a lady. Also, it looks like she's in a mech suit. Is her little teeny tiny hands on the inside? Control on the outside. Um, what? Battlefield did get weird. Um, uh oh, I also should have done that. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Wow! Okay! That could have been troublesome if that had to work. It's the ball guy in the background fainting that gets me every time! It is so funny! Good job, Toru! Good job! But I hope he doesn't stop becoming a trainer because of me! Oh god, he's still smiling. I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. That's good. I'm happy for you, babe. Well, I lost. It looks like Challenger Bead was no match for Challenger Tess and her trusted team. Hey, Bead. That was some match. 
Don't retire. Just restart your career. But this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. You just keep messing up my plans! With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Though, I suppose with my talent, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. The stadium is filled with voices cheering on these two young trainers. Now, Challenger Tess, please head back to the locker room so that you can rest up from that unexpected match. Rather surprising for a Challenger B to barge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head into the pitch. The finals are about to begin. I don't like that that doesn't count. <laughs> I'm gonna put Snips up front. Because I believe my next challenger should be Nessa. Which sounds like Tessa, and I love that so much! One thing about me is that I really like my name. Time for waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face each other in the first battle of the first round are... The trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Challenger Tess. And her opponent is... The Raging Wave, the master of water types, Nessa! She's just so pretty and she's got waist beads and... I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Holberry Stadium. I've got to hand it to you, our undefeated champion. He's got proper eye for talent, too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion, either. Do you know why? Because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. I'm not going to be to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out to sea and beyond the horizon. Will you now? Will you now, Nessa? I see that as a threat. You're challenged by gym leader Nessa. And she is not holding back. But neither are we. Sonia might be disappointed, but I'm going to wash your team away. Yes, and I'm going to air slash you giant bug looking creature yes <laughs> this should go swimmingly haha <laughs> literally swimmingly oh seeking um hmm i'm gonna switch out for tower okay yep Hello, beautiful. Singing with a pretty fish. I still think it's funny. Goodbye. <laughs> Even though I was like, bye. I wonder if I had Dragon Dance, it would have been faster, but it's fine. I hope. I don't think I need it. I might have. I might have. Uh oh. Ugh. That was a little horny. I didn't like that. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's try acrobatics this time. Nope. Ah. Fine. It's fine. Just use Phantom Force again. Besides, Toru loves to vanish, so it works well. Stop healing yourself! Silly fishies! Fainting's for kids. No, I'm kidding. Goodbye. Scoot us, scoot, scoot, I don't even know. Um, gonna switch out. This is going well. Minus my 
small injuries for Taru, but it's okay. Ayami will take over. I just remembered that I think I got. Never mind. I still have it. I thought I got rid of Psychic. I don't know why. Okay! You're so much faster! You were hurt by Rocky Helmet, so this might work! Is it a one shot? No. Um, if anything, you'll faint from my Rocky Helmet. Yes? Yes. Good. Goodbye. Hurt physically and by physical moves. Oh, well, no. Special. So, whatever. Wow. Oh, uh, no, I don't wanna. I'll keep all the moves with Kisa. I want Tover to evolve to level 60. Let's switch out just because you're dying. I don't love this music, but I kind of like it. It's kind of a bop. I don't know. Aww. I know we're supposed to be like one of those birds that like... We get to try rock slide and see what happens. Nope, it wouldn't the attack. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, I'm just gonna use Ice Fang because he avoided the other attack. Please stop hitting me! Why are all my Pokemon so slow? Ah! Oh, good, but he's frozen! Like, 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 literally. Like literally frozen solid. Why have I never seen this before? I'm so happy. <laughs> I've literally never seen that before. I guess I've never like frozen a Pokemon. Uh, Dredna. Um. Oh wait, I know what to do for Dredna. I'm gonna use Kisa. Nakisa has leaf blades, so this should go over swimmingly. So the Dreadnought can no longer swim because he has fainted. Looks like I'm down to the one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. Me too. Me too, Nessa. Is Kisa my best Pokemon? Probably not. Do I love her the most? Probably. Because she's an evolution! Flood the sea to you make it our ocean! Dreadnought, time for Jack and the Map. I want a Gigantamax! It's so big! His neck is so bad! He looks like he's wearing a little turtleneck. <laughs> it's armor in the weirdest places. Thank you, Kisa. And thank you, the annoying truck making beeping noises outside my apartment. Ugh. It's ba. Okay. okay. Alright, I see you. I see you. I raise you one Dynamax Max Overgrowth. Mwah. You can no longer swim because you are fainted! Good. Come on, Taru! Gain more experience than that. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, look how pretty she is. And we've defeated gym leader Nessa. Again. You had no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder that you won. And the winner is Tess. She defeated Ness during the gym challenge and now has pulled it off again. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even with my Dynamaxed partner, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sonia was saying something about how amazing you were. I wish I'd paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in Galar has got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride that current all the way to the end. Now, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. Look at that. Those look so great. But I think I'm going to end it off here. And we will do our next battle. And I believe it is with Alistair next time. Thank you so much for watching.